Hi, it's Andreas. I'm uh, doing the coaching right now. I have finished the third session of the coaching. Um, with the, two, with the second member, I now have a second member of the coaching sessions. Uh, one is on Monday and the other one is now on Thursday. Uh, so Monday is the Australia session. Uh, Thursday is the, the uh, uh, US session. <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do is in the future, uh, I'm going to edit in after this here. I'm going to edit in uh, interesting bits from the coaching session. So after this is are going to come a few interesting bits from the first coaching session. And then what I'm going to do is, uh, because the second and third are already, already finished, I'm going to create two other videos for the other sessions. Um, yeah, it was, was really interesting. He In the first session, he already prepared a lot of stuff. Um, basically uh, did two weeks at once he um, he thought about what his his goals where he want to go um, what companies he wants to target and so on and he also uh, already looked into job postings and sorted the tools that you need into this in this job postings really interesting really quick um, <laughs> so uh, really fun so now I'm going to cut in the interesting bits from session one and then we're going to see each other in the next video. Bye bye. Yeah, it's basically uh, this this points a bit to a, a to a end to end uh, to end to end jobs. Basically you're you're creating the APIs, then you're okay. creating the whole uh, the whole pipeline with with okay. storage and processing and then you're creating a, a front end on top of this. This this okay. this point to point to that. Mm. Yeah, this is is very very common. This is very common yeah. um, that they ask for Power BI and Tableau because most people in within a company they have no idea about the about special or, or Spark or, or whatever or, or Python scripts and so on. They want to have something visual. They want to work with with something that you can click. Click, 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 like Power BI and okay. Tableau. Okay. okay, Power BI. I, I think the visualization stuff here with Power BI, this is, I would I would then also for your project, I would focus on, or let's say Power BI, because that's okay. that's um, that's for free and you don't need a license. Yeah. And more or less, if what, what I think what people are looking into uh, for this, for the, when they say Power BI, or, or Tableau is that you know how to basically connect connect to the data. It's not okay. actual that as a data engineer you need to go into Tableau and you need to know the special um, functions to visualize something. This this is not what, uh, for instance, what I at work what I would uh, would need. I, I need somebody who who understands how how this is done and for instance okay. how to. Um, if if you have a file somewhere or or a a a database uh, like with hive you have a hive warehouse how do you connect this then to tableau and so on so that you have some experience how how yeah how this oh. works at yeah. your project so um then we should uh, we should we should decide um where do you want to do this project is that as you say, cloud is uh, is very important. Then we should decide here, uh, or you should decide what type of cloud um, is it that you're interested in. So, do you want to go AWS? Do you want to do something on Azure or on on Google? That is some because that that then uh, um, you then have to decide which serv or or this limits you in the in the terms of services that you can use or or that you're going to use. Okay. Um, oh. yeah. <clears throat> see, uh, I, 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 GCP, I see very uh, less number of jobs announced uh, GCP. Um, mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> because uh, here in Australia, like they use uh, uh, AWS and Azure a lot. Yeah, that's, that's also what I have, uh, what I have seen. Um, Google is 
It's not that that much used. Yeah, that's right. Azure has some. They they are Azure is like the runner up of 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 the of the of the the list. Like AWS yeah. is is, I would say it's the most uh, most important one because they they have so many, or they are so strong in development and they are de they are developing so fast that um, yeah. Azure is is trying to catch up, but they are they are they are behind. And this is why why people so many people use AWS. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So mm -hmm. basically, the 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 two main the the two main frameworks um, that I know and that I have worked with is Scrum and uh, the OKR framework from from Google. Okay. Um, I I don't know if uh, how how strict uh, people are there. I mean, uh, if you know how what a what a what a sprint is in in Scrum and and I I think this is something this would not be a a a criteria where you don't hire someone because you okay. can learn this very quick in in while you, while you're working. This is 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 the the when you go uh, and do more. Um, more management work in these agile frameworks, then it gets important as a okay. scrum master and so on. But when you when you start and and you learn it, uh, it's this is nothing that is that is okay. That that's a criteria for for not hiring someone. Yeah. Uh, continuous improve uh, integration, continuous deployment pipelines. Um, this is something where I'm not the the strongest. Uh, I know that people are um, that people are working with tools like uh, yeah, like GitLab for this. Um, but I personally, I haven't, uh, I have not that much experience on this um, okay. in in practice. But that's that's important. Basically, uh, where where people use this a lot is um, is in in conjunction with the DevOps containerization stuff. Like okay. you have you have your code in GitLab, and when you do you do a, a um, you make a pull, and then you're basically um, you create your 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 um, change your code, push it then into the into the repository again. And then in the background, you the GitLab is um, is executing um, like a, a continuous deployment where it creates automatically creates uh, new containers like Docker containers, and then pushes them somewhere on some servers for execution. So this is um, this can be and, and uh, used in uh, together. And uh, absolutely makes sense. So, like, yeah, and container is. I mean, Docker. You you need to understand Docker. You need to know how to create a container and um, basically how to, how to start this and and deploy these things. It's it's okay. not that hard. Um, but the the the. I mean, a lot of a lot of people are using it because it's a very easy. Um, Docker is a very easy way of automating. Um, yeah, like simple Python scripts. You have a Python okay. script. You you uh, basically uh, mold it into a container, and then you just deploy the container somewhere, and then you run the container, and then the script gets executed and does something. So very very simple for analytics, and this is why a lot of people are using it. So okay, yeah, and also for for tools like. Uh, um, what do we have here? Let's say Flink and so uh, and this this stuff. You can I think Flink you can also uh, deploy as containers, and or like Spark. So so people are running more and more containerized environments, and this is why why people are asking for it. Machine learning fundamentals. It's that's always uh, that's always a. Hmm. That I would say that depends on the on the actual job there. Um, okay. I know I know data engineers 
who have no idea about machine learning and they're great data engineers. Okay. Um, it's it it always depends on if you how much of the processing are you doing. You know, are you doing some? Um, is is the data engineer only basically in charge of uh, getting or, or ingesting the data and and bringing it to the to the data scientist who do, who does the analytics and then uh, you're you're making sure that the data the the results are visible or um, is the job also to do some pre-processing in the in the engineering stages okay. you know that 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 depends a bit on 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 the job and uh, you can't this is nothing that that you um that you can say you need every time so um in in terms of machine learning is to underst basically understand how this how this process is working that you you have okay. some you have some uh, test data you have some uh, some data where you learn with and um you somehow you have a con some you have a configuration of the algorithms that needs to be stored somewhere and so so you're that you you have an insight of the the basic thing but uh yeah as i said i, I don't think uh, machine learning should be a focus for a for a data engineer that that doesn't okay. make, really make a sense every every way you look is uh a mysql or a sql database yeah. and uh if if you think about uh you have a you have a ui somewhere where you want to want to display stuff you usually have a sql database you have a user management and so on and um if you look at like a, a power bi what you do is you you create a a or you connect to a data source and most likely this data source will work like a sql database or gives you a a uh interface like a sql database okay and so and also the the that you know sql as a as a lang language how to how to extract data so